Hello there, my name's Edgar. It's important to make sure clients are healthy and their details are up to date before they visit for their booking. As such, I'm going to show you what details you will need to set up a medical questionnaire for your online consultation using Core by Premier Software. Part 1. Setting up the questions. First, you'll need to set up the medical questions for your online digital consultation. If your business is spread across multiple locations, the person responsible for your group policy needs to log into Administrator. If you're a standalone hotel or spa, your manager will need to use the Configuration Access to create or amend a medical questionnaire. Once logged in, head to Initial Setup Menu and then Medical Types listed along the top. If you've logged in via configuration access, this will just be under medical types on the main screen. Here, you'll be greeted with a list of any medical questions that may have already been set up. It is important to create new questions with relation to COVID-19 to make sure both your client and your spa staff are safe prior to arrival. To create a new one, click the green plus on the right. Enter the name of the question in the description box, such as COVID-1 or COVID-2, if you have more than one question. Then enter the question the client will be asked under web description. Options such as whether or not they've been in contact with someone who has had a suspected case of COVID-19 within the past 14 days, or questions relating to whether they've experienced any symptoms, are vital to ask. Remember to set up the question under each applicable site under Site Details if you're multi-site. Once you're ready, click the Ask on the Web tick box to enable this option in the Online by Premier Software consultation form. Click the green tick once you're done. Your question will now appear in the list of other medical types below. This will now not only mean it will show up as a medical type within client cards, but also in your medical questionnaires. Importantly, you can click the box next to the question you've set up to move its priority up or down the list. Simply drag and drop this to the order in which you would like the question to appear. Once you're finished, click the back arrow. Part 2. Multiple Medical Questionnaires You can also set up your new COVID-19 questions in different types of medical questionnaires, if you have more than one. Head back to Initial Setup and click Medical Questionnaires to do this. You may use this if you have different medical consultations for different sites or facilities, such as a general health or leisure questionnaire. Highlight the version you would like to add your new question to, then click Site Details at the top. Find the new COVID-19 question and click the tick next to its name for it to appear. Part 3. Medical Prompts Upon Client Arrival Finally, head to General Menu as there's just one last thing you'll need to do, and that's to alert your reception staff if your client arrives and hasn't recently filled in a medical questionnaire. Click Sites and highlight the site you'd like the alert set up for. Then click Site Settings at the top. Scroll down and click Client Card on the left to bring up the options you need. You'll see a tick box under Arrival Options asking to message on arrival if medical is incomplete. Tick this. You can also set the number of days the medical questionnaire is applicable for before the client will need to fill out a new one. Make sure to set up these options for every applicable site at the bottom. You can also set up prompts for a client to fill out a medical questionnaire upon arrival for their treatment, as opposed to something like tennis. Head to the main menu and then Appointment Codes. Select the applicable appointment, then click Site Details. Here, select each relevant site on the left and then tick the prompt for Medical to make sure this is completed as part of the arrival process. Should the client have any medical type condition that will impede on their treatment, you can head to the Medical tab here to alert your staff. You can choose whether to warn or deny your staff of the treatment using the drop-down box. I hope you found this guide insightful. Stay tuned for part two, where we show you how to send email links to your medical questionnaire. In the meantime, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel for advice on other Premier software systems or videos from our partners. We also have plenty of informative details on our Twitter network at Core by Premier, as well as on LinkedIn at Premier Software. Take care and stay safe.